What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Shoots with Coops and as you can see today, we are pushing HP5 and uh, tri to 1600 and seeing how the results compare. So you guys can see sort of, you know, if you want to push film, um, which can be a bit daunting if you don't know what you're doing, I can show you guys, you know, first-hand results of what we've gotten out of this and you can decide which one is best for you. So the HP5 and tri guys, these are probably the two most loved and universally used black and white films that are still in production today. Um, and the majority of people are either, uh, you know, Camp HP5 or Camp Tri-X. Um, and, you know, they shoot one or the other. There's a few people, like myself, who actually enjoy shooting both, um, depending on the situation, because I think each film offers you something a little bit different. Personally, I think that HP5 offers you uh, a bit of a flatter image with a bit more uh, dynamic range throughout the shadow region, whereas Triax, I feel, offers a more of a punchy, contrasty look, uh, which I really enjoy as well. So both are good for different situations. So this week, what I have done is I have had uh, some HP5 uh, loaded up in my M7, um, shooting with a 50mm lens, and then I've also had some Triax loaded up in my Nikon with a 50mm lens. Both are uh, you know, rated at 1600. Um, and throughout this week, I have shot, where are we up to? 20, yeah, probably about 20 frames. I've shot about 20 frames so far of you know, various scenarios, situations, um, you know, outside in bright sunlight, inside in the shade, and at night in the shadows. Um, and I've got, as I said, probably got, what, 15 shots left, roughly 15 shots left on each camera. So what we're gonna do is, is right now, I am gonna jump in the car and head down to Fremantle, which is one of my favorite uh, places to walk around and do some street photography here in Perth. So I'm gonna jump in the car and head down there so we can finish this test. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the highlight shots so far. You know, we've got HP5 and Triax, compare the two, it's pretty much the same the same shot, I've taken the exact same shot with both cameras, um, same aperture setting, same shutter setting, setting, setting to make it as you know close and comparable as possible. Um, and also note that I haven't finished developing them yet, but when I do, I'm gonna be using Ilford LC29, which is my main uh, developer I use. Um, both films will be in the tank at the same time. Uh, they have the same rating um, time-wise, so it's gonna be 14 minutes for each and then obviously stop and fix, same amount of time. So, you know, same tank, same developer, same amount of time, make it as controlled as we possibly can. And then we'll get, you know, obviously I'm gonna get the lab to scan these with a good scanner. So we've got a nice, you know, even, well, a nice comparable scan between the two. All right, so you guys enjoy some of these shots now. I'm gonna head in the car and I'll see you down in Fremantle.
All right, guys, time to develop these bad boys. Let's get to it. Hey, guys, welcome back. So I finally got um, the scans back today, um, and I am... I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. And I'm surprised in some aspects and not in the other. Um, I mean, you guys, have, I've shown you pretty much all the photos that I've taken, more or less. Um, so now sort of onto the, you know, the real kind of, you know, comparing end um, of where we're up to. Um, so, I mean, first of all, we'll just look at, at these two photos first. Okay, so we have these two images here. Now, the photo on the left of the screen um, is... HP5 and the photo on the right is Triax. Now this is just a real, you know, not not none of these are by, by any stretch amazing photos, but it's just so we can kind of, you know, a real but kind of push the films. Like this is a real, this is about what, three o'clock in the afternoon, you know, high sun still, real contrasty situation. You know, any decent camera is gonna to struggle to meet her in this situation. You can see we've got all those shadows and the, and the bright whites and, you know, hard, hard blacks. But if you look, um, you can clearly see that the HP5 has much greater detail in the shadows, whereas the the you know the Triax is you know pretty crushed, um, you know, but it's very contrasty. You know, it looks very very contrasty, which is cool, but it's pretty much all, all you know all your darks are really really crushed. But HP5 retains um, that detail in the shadow areas where it's almost gone. Um, I mean, you can still kind of see it in the Triax shot, but you know it's not very visible, but HP5 clearly um, keeps that, you know, that detail there. And if you want to add, you know, I mean, the, the, obviously the perk to the Triax shot is we've got a much punchier, you know, contrasty image. Um, I would even go as far to say maybe the Triax is a little bit sharper in the foreground area, just on the bitumen there. Um, but again, we've got more detail in the shadows with HP5, so, you know, take it as you will. Which one would you guys prefer? Now this next shot here, this is just the clock tower down at um, at that my local beach where I was, um, and you can just you know this is just a, a clear uh, well point one you know well clear observation of, of you know the high contrast uh, that Triax does provide. And as you can see, uh, the HP5 shot um, now the lens being a 1600 bright sunlight shooting into the sky. Pretty sure we were at f16 um, no sorry f22 um, you know. Uh, 500 through thousands of a second. So getting to kind of the limit of what a camera can do um, in that sense. Uh, but we've got pretty much, you know, a little bit more detail in the shadowed area with the HP5, um, but a way more punchier contrast with the Triax. So there you go. This next image um, is uh, indoors. A friend of mine, um, Nadia, who works at one of the local camera stores, we were just dicking around chatting um, and we both took a photo of each other. Um, now in this situation, I'm really struggling to tell the difference. This is one of the few. So we're indoors, um, you know, tungsten or fluore fluorescent light um, globes above our head, I should say. Um, and I really can't tell too much of a difference between the two of these. Um, I mean, the photo she, she's taken, the, the shot um, of her is taken with Triax and the shot of me is taken with HP5. But there's, you know, lots of detail, you know, in my hair follicles, in her hair, you know, hair follicles. It's really, really hard um, to tell the difference. So I think maybe in this sort of situation, um, you know, indoors, uh, you know, um, not natural light, so you know, artificial light indoors, they're both gonna perform very, very similar. Um, so if that's what you're using each film for, um, then maybe it's just, you know, personal preference. They're both gonna perform the same. So I really can't tell much difference between the two of them in this situation. Now this shot, I was just uh, driving past um, and saw this, you know, an old warehouse and saw this. Now, as you can clearly see, um, I think that personally that Obviously, the Triax is, you know, uh, a lot more punchier. Like, if you look at the the, the two, um, the tree on the left hand side, like we've got much deeper blacks in the Triax photo, um, and the HP5 photo has a little bit more detail. If you look around where that um, that uh, big wood, it, it looks like a thimble. It's, you know, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call it, like a. I think it's used to wrap up electrical wires or something on I mean, it anyway. If you look at that big wooden thing there, there is more detail in the HP5 shot. Um, 
But again, the Tri-X looks to be a bit sharper. Like if you look at the brickwork behind that, um, the brickwork does look sharper um, with Tri-X, which is bizarre. And now before anyone wants to talk about, well, your lenses are different, to be honest, the M7 had, you know, a Zeiss fucking ZM planar lens on it. So it had, you know, F2, it had a, a wicked lens on it. But the Nikon, which I'm shooting the Tri-X, had a 50mm 1.8 E-series. So not like an amazing lens by any stretch of the imagination. If anything, you'd think the photo would be sharper um, with HP5 because it's, you know, with sh shooting out of it, you know, well, essentially shooting out of a Zeiss, a Zeiss lens. But even this Nikon E-series lens, you can see the Tri-X, a really, really sharp image. So I think I'm going to have to say, like, when we start pushing it like this, um, HP5 win for shadows. Uh, Tri-X a win for detail. Now this set of photos here guys, this is where, you know, HP5 for the win I must say. Now this is, well, one o'clock in the afternoon. This was down in Freo, you saw those shots. One o'clock in the afternoon, bright sunlight. I'm, I'm, the camera's on its limits of what it can do with, you know, having 1600 film in there. Um, now I metered that weird building that you see, the, the tower looking thing, I metered in the darkest part of that, the shadows there. So where those windows are, that is where I metered for this shot. And as you can see, there is oodles more detail in the HP5 photo. I mean, it's really, really dark. I mean, much more contrasty and punchier with the Tri-X, which I really like, and a lot of people like that as well. But if you want detail and you want to, you know, you want to make sure that you can get the most out of each shot, HP5 is the clear winner here. I mean, just so much more detail where it's almost gone on the Tri-X shot. And lastly, guys, this, um, you know, another outdoor shot here, you know, of this brickwork. Obviously, we've got the sun beating down. Um, and you can clearly see again, you got much more uh, punchier contrast um, in the Tri-X shot um, and a bit more, you know, softer, flatter look with HP5, which people do shoot HP5 for that flatter, softer look. So it's definitely, you know, doing that in that sense. Uh, and the Tri-X here is, is being punchy and contrasty like Tri-X should. So it comes down to personal preference with this shot, I suppose. All right, guys. So, I mean, as I, th I thought I'd do this video because there's, there's lots of videos on the tube about pushing HP5 and there's lots about pushing Tri-X and there's lots about comparing the two, but there's none about comparing, you know, both pushed versions of these film, which I think people are probably very curious about. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the different images um, in that sense. Now for my, my personal preference, um, my personal view, what I'm gonna say, personally, I'm gonna have to give the win, if I had to choose, to HP5. As much as I love Tri-X, I'd have to give it to HP5 because I just feel like you can always add contrast. I mean, straight off the bat, if you want a punchy, you really want a real punchy contrast film and you're not planning on doing any editing, Tri-X for sure. But, I mean, just the ability to have, you guys saw all that extra detail we were capturing in the shadows with HP5, it's there. I mean, obviously we're working with a film negative. We can't put detail there that's not been captured. You know what I mean? It's film. You only get one chance to get it right, really. But with the HP5, knowing that I'm gonna have all that extra detail um, and I can just bump up the contrast slider a little bit in Lightroom and it's gonna look relatively close to Tri-X except I'm gonna have all that extra detail. So I think the reason why people shoot HP5 for that extra detail, that flatter image, um, when we're pushing film, obviously we're getting more contrast when we push film. So I think the win just has to go to HP5, like I said. You can add a little bit more contrast, but you can't really take it away without really messing with the photo. So from now on, when I push black and white film, it's, it's gonna be HP5. So there you go, make it out of what you will, guys. So I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. Um, like I said, you know, it took me a while to do because obviously, and it's expensive, obviously, developing, you know, buying film, developing, getting it scanned, but I felt like it was really worth it because there's not much information about this specific topic on the tube. So. Hey, tell me in the comments, guys, which did you prefer? Did you prefer the Tri-X pushed 16 or did you prefer HP5? I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. So that does it for another episode of Shoots with Coops, guys. As always, happy shooting, and I'll see you in the next one.